Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Starfield on PC through Game Pass. And we are currently going through the possible Thieves Guild storyline for Starfield. It is the Ryujin Corporation storyline. Modern city with walls. Hmm. Quite a throwback, wouldn't you agree? And we're now on, I think, the third quest for them, if not the fourth. I can always look the one up. We're on the second, okay. So we need to do a mission where we plant false information inside of this building for an audit. Might want to steer clear of the stretch. Lots of crime over there. So we had to clean up the You meet all sorts in Aquila City. Why don't we just close it down? It's not like it gets much use. I need some place to protest. Now is this like Skyrim or Fallout? No, Skyrim where they will follow me upstairs. Or is it not like that at all? Yes, ma'am. Is there anyone up here? Yes, there is. Okay. I need to put it in that right there. Okay. Oh. How? It's based on, okay, it is based on what they see. Because he turned his head to me some and... And he didn't see me. So it is based on their line of sight. So it does not go there. Okay. This one. Nope. That screwed it. That screwed it. That was not it. Um, let's try. Okay, this one can go here, I think. Let's try this one. No, this one does not go here. So this one goes on the next layer. This one has to go here. Because it does not go anywhere else. Actually, it could go here. But this one has to go here.
Go. Where did you learn to pick up? You know what? On second thought, I don't want to know. Oh wow, really? Okay, another one. So let's try and get this one in place. This one can go here. Because there's no other path for it to go. This one will not go here. So it will go... Right here, which means So we got seen, but we weren't attacked or anything, so that might count against us, maybe? Maybe? So if it's nothing but these kinds of jobs... For easy XP, I cannot complain, honestly. At all. Like, I cannot complain whatsoever. It's easy XP so far. Can I fast travel there, I wonder? No, I cannot. Okay. This is the longest loading screen I've had so far. Wow. Okay then. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I think it froze. Oh no, there it goes. Maybe. That was a long one. Wow. Okay then. That was very, very odd. How goes the slate search? Any complications? What's my... Everything looks normal. Weird. I was hoping you'd show up soon. 
Is it done? Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. Your next assignment is to find the security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Mmm, I don't have... We just need some easy access to competitor security. Sometimes, obtaining a legitimate form of access is preferred over brute forcing it. A security chief isn't going to give the time of day to just anybody. A nice suit should do the trick. Or, who knows, some operatives are known to have a security guard uniform or two in their closet they can rely on. Just be careful. Getting caught could mean a mess and cleanup isn't cheap. Good luck. Mm. I'm sure you'll be able to get that key card without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. Travel to the clinic. Wear a suit or security guard uniform. Optional. And it's saying to take our ship to Nerian. Okay. So, where to next? <clears throat> Please respect priority docking for emergency patients. The clinic welcomes all. We love what up. Well, oh, we might need this one. We might need this one. Yeah, see, I have no points in persuasion at all. And I failed maybe four. Maybe four? So persuasion is not that hard at all, honestly. You really don't need persuasion at all. I mean, I could get this. It would get us more money. But do I really want to do it? Not really. I want to hold off for now. I used to have 25. I mean, 21 bars. Why do I only have 20 now? It's so weird. I used to have more. Why is it not? Huh. That's so...
Huh, I don't understand that. Huh. I used to have 21 reactor, but now I only have 20. Why, I wonder? Where did that other one go to? Huh, weird. Maybe it was a bug or something, who knows. Do you think Solomon Cove would have liked me? Good to go. Sure. <laughs> Everybody likes you, don't they? Do you think he would have liked you? My friend will be, huh? Okay. How long have you been here? Need some work done? Uh, about a year Not now, Not anything doctor. you need to offload? And in that sure. year, how, about how many it? times have we... You know what? Let's see what we can do to our ship. Nothing. Have this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies. I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds. Wait a minute, don't we have a quest here? Hold up now. Uh. That's right, three times. We I will be making do. a very late Maybe I should have just gone to Aquila City. It's probably nothing. Saw your ship come in. Nice ride. Are you here for a procedure? Need something? Hey, let's keep our voices down. The clinic doesn't exactly know I'm giving its supplies away. That being said, I've been expecting someone soon. I've heard Bayou really has a vice grip on Neon right now. I have some supplies I can give you. Should be more than enough for now, and it shouldn't draw any suspicion from the clinic. I'll have them loaded onto your ship. What the clinic doesn't know won't hurt them. That's why it's important to keep this as confidential as possible. I'm putting my job on the line to do this, but I know that the people of Neon need help. I'm willing to take the risk and skim a few supplies from the clinic. But if the clinic finds out, then I'm out of a job and Neon is out of supplies. Again. So, let's not be too conspicuous. So let's not do this one. He's a good friend of mine. We both worked at the same clinic in Aquila City. The work was hard and I was really young and nervous, but he always looked after me during those days and helped me as much as he could. So to answer your question, I'm doing this because I know for a fact he'd do the same for me. No questions asked. Of course, the people of Neon aren't going to heal themselves. You'll find the supplies on your ship. Hurry along before anyone suspects anything. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what did that say for me to do? Return to there. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. We need to find a way up. 
staff area. Break room. There's such a mountain of work. I could really use a hand. Storage. I am not permitted to perform medical practices without human oversight. You lost? Because you don't look like you belong here. If you're thinking about going into medicine, just be really sure before you commit to it. Really sure. Mm hmm And this is where we save scum. I got my eye on you. You sure you belong here? Oh, we actually have to. Oh. So we can't talk to him unless we're actually... Okay, so we can't talk to him unless we're actually wearing a uniform. So I need to find a uniform then, don't I? Um, let's see here. That's the storage. I need to find. Um, maybe. Nope. Office. Where would the alien pathogen be? <sighs> Not exactly a hotbed of criminal activity here, is it? Well, that suits me fine. <clears throat> nope, nothing there. Okay. Where can I find a uniform? Always quick. Something to report? Another day? Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. It's a grab drive. I literally can't get here any faster. Where, oh where, can I get a uniform? Or a suit? Optional, wear a suit or a security guard uniform. I can buy a suit from Ito in there. Okay, from Ito. So I guess we need to buy a suit. Because I wanted to do this clean. Can I afford a suit? Yes, okay, I can. Let's go and get a suit. We want to go to Neon. Is this where it is? Yeah, it is. Okay, we want to go back to Neon. That was a <laughs> change. <clears throat> Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Uh, 
Thanks, are we? And we can also turn this one question as well. So we need to return to him while we're here. So why not? Please stay tonight. You aren't looking well at all. Stay away from Aurora before you get hooked. What can Reliant Medical do for you? Great. Thank you for all of your help. You really came through for me here. Things could have been bad if you hadn't come along. Here, take this. You've earned it. Nice. You and Abby really pulled through for me. Try not to get hurt out there. I mean, 100 XP for doing that is not bad. Okay. So now we need to find Ito. And... I believe he is down this way. Ideas about That's Ken. Security doesn't stop. <sighs> ah. Welcome to the Ryujin Industries product store. Here, have a look. Diplomacy chance. Wow, dude. Okay. So there's not one for 10%. There's only one for... That's kind of sad, but whatever. It is what it is. <clears throat> I want the one that gives me the most physical, which is... This one right here. Take care. Hey, you know what? I'll keep that on, sure. Oh, and it puts them in. Well, isn't that convenient? to do a bit of Xeno research, eh? Count me in. No, I'm here Encourage to do something else. That every case we cure here, and now that I'm wearing a suit, we can okay. now go do this. Don't even think about trying anything. Can I help you? That is a pretty huge favor. Especially coming from someone I don't even know.
If saving your job requires a security key card, I think you've got bigger problems. I thought I made myself clear. I'm not giving you my card. Mm. Talk with her again. Wow. Maybe I can make an exception. You're welcome to try to wear me down. I guess it's possible you're telling the truth. You at least look professional. Fine. The key's yours. Just remember to bring it back, or I'm reporting you. You don't even know who I am. So how can you report me? Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. I know, but that's not the point. This isn't about fault. This is about closure. Until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. Hmm. What's there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing. But thank you, all the same. Yeah, I'll do it. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with a navigator call. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. That's why I need you by my side. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. If I begin to fall apart, I need someone I can trust to keep me in check. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, I'll never understand. I don't know what to say. Ah, oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True love. Something I've seriously considered sharing with you for a long time. Just not ready. Not yet. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, yeah. it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. Considers you a friend. And now she's 
not able to leave until I complete that quest. Fair enough. Oh yeah, we need to go back. Yes. All right. Let's get this crate into this space. This is Star Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. Scan complete. He did. Go ahead and land. Want to hear a poem I wrote? <laughs> All right, we are back. I wonder if the what game the will, Royalist, you know, the DJ? Well, she's hook up again like it did last time. Important. Another freaking quest. Heck yeah, dude. Don't mind if I do. I will take all of these questies. Alright, let's see if it hitches again. No, it did not. Okay, that was weird. I don't know what caused that. Interesting. Hmm. That was a strange hitch up. Hey there. Got that key card for me? I think of security the same way too, but don't let Dalton know I said that. Overall, not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch. And your timing couldn't be better. Med packs. Good. It's time for a change of pace. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. Discretion and the Trade Tower in Neon don't exactly go hand in hand. If you haven't already heard the name Benjamin Bayou, you'd better get familiar. The man runs Neon and has ties to anything significant here, including Ryujin. The Trade Tower is his baby, and the Astral Lounge is the heart and soul. You do anything to scar that and make a scene, I guarantee it'll come back to haunt us. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Hmm. Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. They have products in several similar fields, ships and neuroamps being the exception. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. We don't consider them a major competitor since their product line is so narrow. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity <coughs> must be looking to get into the ship business. And we'd like to delay that, if we can. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. I suppose I can give you a brief rundown. We'll start with Zola. Zola is a born and bred executive, it runs in the family, so she's highly accustomed to an upper-class lifestyle. She's a narcissist who's also obsessed with public perception, both of her and quantum synergies. She wants to be associated with the latest and greatest, so she's drawn to innovation and quality.
she's considered it, but she's next in line to be CEO over at Quantum. If she came here, she'd have to deal with stiff competition. As for her talking points, the key things to remember are, Infinity is the cheap version of Ryujin. They're a follower, not a leader, and they lack any sense of clear vision. Infinity has struggled with leadership and turnover for a long time now. Lucas Drexler is probably the fifth CEO they've had in the past few years. Plus, it's hard to keep good employees when much better corporations who will pay more are out there. They've launched several, but none survive long. Nothing that would be as big as neuroamps or grav drives. That's why they've taken to just following whatever trends companies like Ryujin set. If they can't make money off ingenuity, they can certainly sell someone a cheaper version of a more expensive product they may want. Hmm. Infinity LTD's strategy to make money is to cut cost on quality. Hmm. You can compare any one of our products to theirs and see it almost instantly. Low-grade synthetics, flimsy thin materials, high energy usage, they issue at least one or two recalls a year. Sounds like real life. With everything being made in China. Oh, wait. Maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. Oh, but it's true. Just remember, you can refer to the dossier at any time as a refresher. Now, on to Arthur Cruz. Arthur is a self-made man, and he prides himself on that. He's a full package, having both an extremely good knack for numbers and knowing how to talk to people. As Quantum Synergy's financial manager, he's all about driving profit with as little risk as possible. He makes decisions based on facts and heavily researched trends. It sounds like the two of you could really hit it off. Arthur's a great talker, but even the best can lose an audience when finance is the topic. <laughs> Talking points for Arthur are aimed at steering him toward Ryujin over Infinity LTD. Ryujin's profits are 25.7% higher than Infinity's, even with a superior quality product. Nice. Infinity's profits are fabricated. They're one audit away from ruin. We have a history of being financially secure that's never wavered. And we have the legal and marketing teams to handle anything that might threaten that. Sir, you're in the way. Quantum Synergies is the top name in ship OS. Their reputation has allowed them to keep the best engineers on their payroll. We can't deny that working with them would be beneficial for us. And Arthur is our best bet in making that happen. Besides, okay. an open collaboration gives us easier access to information we'd otherwise have to find them with <coughs> our clever means of discovering. We keep an extremely close eye on our competition. Thanks to operatives like you, that information is almost always at our disposal. Sounds like you're ready then. I'd still highly recommend reading the dossiers though. Sometimes bullet-pointed statements can stick out in minds easier than conversation. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity, not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. If it's not on her person, it will be in the suite she has reserved. Suites are patrolled, so she'll believe it's secure. If you can't manage to get her room key or deal with the door itself, try Boone Morgan, the manager. Boone appreciates credits, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. We got lucky on that one. Nina was making some last-minute changes to it at her own home and happened to save it to her personal data storage. Of course, we were able to access it, so we fabricated our own with new figures and put it on an Infinity LTD slate. Assuming she's using an Infinity LTD slate is a bit of a gamble, but one we're willing to take. 
Exactly. And that incompetence will be enough for them to further question this deal. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astral Lounge distract you too much. <coughs> Fitted business suit added, huh? Oh my goody gumdrops. There's the 10% I wanted. Goodbye. I mean, it's weaker, but you know what? I don't give a crap. Charismatic, friendly, enjoys talking. Stickler for facts and details. Credits and how to increase accounts. So she basically told me everything about them. Yeah. Oh, and I can't read that. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Yeah, so she told me everything about them already. Yeah. And I can view these at any time. So I can open up the menu while talking, supposedly. Uh, oh, excuse me. All right. I left you a gift, I'm sorry. Don't worry, it's not a piece of poop. Oh, well, and no company actually, tab. We don't mind a few drinks if the job calls for it, but that's out of your pocket, not ours. I don't care. Drinking's bad. Makes you do dumb shit. Now does that include soda pop? <laughs> As technicians, we handle prep and post -op. Beginnings and end. I'm actually quite enjoying this storyline. This is a different take on the Thieves Guild. I mean, it, I wouldn't really call them a Thieves Guild. But the way they operate, they kind of are like a Thieves Guild. It's a different take on them, which I, which I like. Instead of just going around and stealing things for them, you are doing a lot more than that. And honestly, it's about time. I mean, yeah, I know in like Skyrim you could have done those side job missions for Vax and what's his face? I can't think of his name, but like, you didn't get those missions as the main missions. You had to get them as side missions. Over over at Kelcorp, this is the Neo. way like that I wanted the Thieves Guild to be. Out. Oh lord, no. I'm sorry, but I, 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 I don't want to hear the bass. I don't care for bass. I'm sorry, guys. No. And I'm sorry, but bass is not a sound effect. It is music. Fix it, Todd Howard, please. Don't you have something better to do? I'm sorry, but this is a sound effect. That's a sound effect. Get out of my face. You want to gawk at something? Take it to the Astral Lounge. This is a sound effect. So this should also be muted right now. What have games become?
Sorry for those that wanted to hear this crap, but no. I don't condone this crap music. It is complete and utter crap. Oh. Having fun? The music is amazing! Well, before we fudge this too much, we're going to do this. Someone came dressed to impress. Here on business or just out to escape? Ah, same here. Nothing like a business trip paid in full, especially when there is good downtime. Ryujin Industries. A good guess since we are here in Neon, but no. Infinity LTD. I cannot access it anytime I want. You lying son of a biscuit. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Ah. This is what it meant by persuade. Oh, okay. I have to persuade them. Plus three? Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. I believed our team had thoroughly researched infinity. But your comment gives me pause. Leadership is changing constantly. True. Stability is a much needed quality. Our hope is that with our guidance, Drexler will create the stability Infinity needs. But now I realize that is a bit of a gamble. A surprising conversation. And one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So, it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. Influence is done. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I'm sorry, but the music here sucks. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, wait, how would I know? <laughs> well, let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? Okay, why is this a sound effect? Answer me this, Todd. Why is this a sound effect? Why is this a sound effect? This is music. Why is it a sound effect? And I was right, the music sucks. I was right. So, like, why is this a sound effect? It's music. I found a bug in your game. Fix it, please. Love the game, by the way. It's just I found a bug in your game. It needs to be fixed. That's not how music works. Also, um, this is also a sound effect. These are sound effects. Just pointing that out right now. All these years, and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single I night. I got to say, the man knows how to run a business. Fuck. <clears throat> well, I take that as a compliment, coming from someone as well dressed as yourself. You either got great taste. 
A great connections. Maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. <laughs> One audit would ruin That's them. an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look, it was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Switch her presentation. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? It's because they have little outposts everywhere. Oh yeah, I already f fudged nuggets. Okay then. Is there another way in, maybe? Do 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 There is not another way in, is there? Oh wait. Damn. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. Hey, I see you. I see that as well. Okay, why can I pick that up? That should not be blue and highlighting and all that crap. Neither should that. Neither should these. Neither should this, because it's not for crafting. Anything that is not for crafting or labeled as crafting should not be in, like this right here. Why is this blue? Well, before I screw this up, wait, what? Oh, find a way into our suite. Well, this is it right here, is it not? That thing sees me? What? That thing counts? Cool. Well, this one does not go on the first layer. It goes on the second layer. And it goes right there. This one goes over here, right about there. This one goes here. This one will go here. No, I'm missing something here. Uh, yes, 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 and yes. Haven't seen a lock picked that easily since I traveled with Vladimir Sol. <laughs> and now we're out of here because yes. Bye, have a good time. <coughs> Did that one nice and clean. <laughs> are those what I think they are? Oh, they are. Um, I think Olympus is kind of um, way out there, isn't it? 
That's a thousand? And it only pays that much? Are you freaking serious? I would expect more from it. And it only pays that much? Dude, no, that's not worth it. You might want to readjust how much missions pay. I mean, I can understand these ones paying what they pay, but this one? I expect like 10,000 or more for this one. Just saying. Oh look, we have music again. Oh look, hey Todd Howard, your game is bugged out. There's music in there, but guess what? It counts as a sound effect. No! That is not how that works. I am sorry. <laughs> I know you're tired. That is not how that works. That is not how that works. I am sorry. So yeah, you may want to fix that, because that is not a sound effect, that is music. And anyone who wants to argue with me on that is a freaking idiot. Because music, like this right now, that is playing in the background is the same as what we were hearing over in where we just were. So if you want to argue with me on that, you're a freaking idiot. Ready to report? I don't know how I... Someone either has a very tiny, um, wee-wee or a very tiny, um, you know, what's McCall's it's between there. I am now the CEO of the company. I now have the tiniest wee-wee. I hope you have some good news for me. Wait. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astro Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Yeah. By that and with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. That's exceptionally kind of you, Imogene. Only as common as the flawless assignments you pull off. No one wants to clean up a mess. It takes a toll on several departments, which is why we like to promote a clean assignment. Don't tell me you forgot already. Our financial guru? They're brilliant with numbers. Oh, yeah. Also, if you ever want an honest opinion about anything, just ask them. They're honest to a fault, and often give their opinion on something whether you want it or not. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good, and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Dang, 10,000.
Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. Let's just say we don't tolerate theft or smear campaigns against us. If you want to steal in this industry, you better not get caught. And if you want to tarnish our good name, you better be ready for repercussions. Not quite. When you uploaded that virus onto Keltcorp's network, that was a warning intended to slow down their internal productivity. Keltcorp suffered the effects of that silently, although I guarantee they endured some serious client complaints. This assignment is about making our target look completely negligent in the public eye. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. You can call it what you like, but most importantly, it's your next assignment. ARC stands for Assault, Reprogram, Corrupt. We think of it as a multi-tool of sorts. The ARC locates hard wiring and manipulates the information current being sent back and forth. Depending on the situation, it's designed to do all sorts of things, but inevitably, they all result in malfunction. Good. All you need to do is plant the ARC on the service panel of your target. We can handle the rest from here. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. The key is to make this look like a malfunction. And good luck. Keep it up, and you'll probably have my job soon. Travel to Hope Tech. Okay, so now we cannot be seen. <clears throat> well, you know what that means. <laughs> yeah, you know what that means. Yeah. Okay, well, I am going to put a cut in the video here. And I will see all of you next time with some more Starfield. I'm actually quite enjoying this storyline, believe it or not. This is a nice refresher from everything else that's in the game. Like, I don't mind the rest of the game. But this is a nice breath of fresh air doing what we're doing. But anyways, if you guys are enjoying the video, the videos, I mean, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. It will help my channel grow, and it will give you notifications whenever I post more videos. I post daily. I post several videos a day, hopefully several videos a day. For at least for the most part. If not, then, you know, stuff happens. You know, life happens. But it is what it is. But anyways, I will see all of you guys later and have a wonderful day.